It's everywhere on the internet, so it must be true, right? It is said that spent coffee grounds are meant to be used in moderation to feed composting worms because it increases the acidity of the worm bedding. And yet, everyone is feeding worms coffee grounds. Some people sprinkle, some people pour. I wanted to test it out for myself. I made some unexpected discoveries. So what I did was make a big batch of bedding using coconut coir, shredded cardboard, and paper wet to the appropriate damp consistency. The first cup was the bedding only. In the second cup, I poured at least a quarter cup of white vinegar. I wanted to make sure the pH meter was working and could read an acidic solution. The third cup, I sprinkled coffee just on top, just a little bit on top. In the fourth cup, I mixed half and half coffee and bedding. I wanted to see if the amount of coffee made a difference to the pH of the bedding. I really stirred it around. The last cup is just straight coffee grounds. I purchased a soil pH reading meter off of Amazon for about $15. I'll put the link in the description box below. It also reads light and moisture with the flip of this switch. I'm using my notebook of big ideas to jot down the daily pH readings. The first day's reading showed that the bedding alone is 7.0. A neutral pH is anywhere between 6 to 7. This is bedding made of coconut core and paper and cardboard. The one with straight vinegar added read predictably acidic at a pH of 4.0. Each cup with added coffee measured 6.5. Very neutral. No matter if it was lightly sprinkled on top, mixed in 50-50 by volume, or just straight coffee. You read the pH meter by referencing the red horizontal bar. When the needle swings left, it reads a higher pH or more basic. When the needle swings right, the pH goes lower and is more acidic. So the second day, I measured the pH of each cup again, taking care to always rinse the meter off in between each measurement. Uh, the coffee grounds was not changing the pH of the bedding. However, the cup with the vinegar was becoming less acidic and more neutral. This was a surprising turn of events. By the fourth day, an unexpected trend had developed. The vinegar cup was creeping towards a neutral pH rather than becoming more acidic. I thought maybe my pH meter didn't work. So in order to check that it is working, I poured in a bunch more vinegar, stirred it around, compressed the bedding to make good contact with the meter, and the reading was... 5.0 acidic. So my meter is working. So in conclusion, I have found that coffee grounds have a neutral pH and do not affect the pH of the worm bedding. This much was becoming obvious. The more interesting and flabbergasting thing is that the pH of the bedding plus vinegar started off at 4.0, very acidic, then went to 5, then 6, then 6.5 over the four days. At first I thought that the coconut coir had magically been able to maintain pH in the presence of an acidic solution. I checked in with my scientist husband for theories. He suggests that because vinegar is volatile, it had evaporated out of the bedding, thus the trend towards a neutral pH. In conclusion, there may be legit reasons not to add a ton of spent coffee grounds into your worm compost bin, but concerns about increasing the acidity is not one of them. Happy worm farming!